if you're brand new, I'm very happy that you decided to join me today for another speed field a day late, but it's fine, I guess. Um, because as you well know, it was Easter on Sunday, so happy belated Easter to you all. I hope you had an amazing day. I hope you spent it with your family or however you like. I hope it was a happy day in general. But so today we are building something peculiar in my opinion. I know it's already been done, but I really felt like doing something a bit different. So today we are building a mother home, um, but in the middle of ancient ruins. You can find these ancient ruins in the library objects in Get Together if I'm not mistaken. And I also built this one in Windenburg, which is the world that came with Get Together. So yeah, it's all a Get Together madness, if I can define it this way. But yeah, so I felt like building something like this. I've been wanting to do it since a long time and I also got a suggestion from you all to do something like this and so that's what I'm doing, that's what I've been building in the past week and I had a lot of fun because it's something so much different in respect to what I usually do. I know that lately I've been building a lot of things um, in a more modern style and today is no exception. Um, maybe I will get out of this modern kick, but I don't know. Not now, I guess, not today. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Um, as I said, I had a lot of fun building this sort of different house and it's also kind of big. It wasn't my plan to make it as big, um, but that's what it turned out to be. And so it has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Yeah, so it's a fairly big home. Um, and I absolutely love how it turned out. I also used a different color scheme. Um, usually I go for either super black, super dark, or completely mm, like beige colors, light wooden tones. That's the style I usually go for. But this time I've used a lot of gray, which is new for me. And as you can see, as I'm now working on this kitchen, um, I've changed my mind so many times on the color scheme. It's embarrassing, to be honest. Um, I was so undecisive, I didn't know whether to go gray and black or white and gray and yeah it was a struggle to decide eventually um, to go with gray and white and also a bit of black and brown so yeah it's a kind of a weird color scheme but i think eventually it worked out and everything kind of matches and yeah eventually i made it and i don't know i just decided to stick with brown, white and grey um, and some hints of blacks here and there because yeah, grey and black are, I don't know if they are contemporary, why contemporary? I wanted to say something else um, but I don't know if they go so well together, I mean in the scale of colours or whatever <laughs> but I really like how they look so yeah I eventually have decided to use them and as you can see I've been using also in this build a lot of gallery art um, I receive, I always receive a lot of questions about gallery art but it's available for everyone also for concert players because it's on the gallery so if you have access to the gallery you can search for gallery art or art or paintings and you can find a lot of rooms with a lot of paintings and they are not custom content so everyone can download them and if you download this build you will see that gallery art um, obviously I didn't make it that's why you will see the name of the creators on your screen uh, as soon as I pull it off from the gallery and yeah I usually use the same people's gallery art because I'm obsessed and these people are Sarina Sims 
um, then Calderon 16, Cradia 9, and Synthessional 2, and a bunch of other people, but obviously you will see the name in the description, not in the description, <laughs> on the video, on the screen of the video, uh, as I pull the art from the gallery. And also you can find them uh, sort of tagged uh, on the gallery with their hashtag, so you can find them easily also there. And yeah, so now that I've done the kitchen and I've been rambling about completely something else, um, we have moved on to the living room. It's a very small living room, uh, but I consider, I've even considered doing a double living room because there is another room at the entrance of the house which was really big and probably suitable for another living room but eventually I've decided to make it as an entryway and that's it. It's just a really big entryway. So yeah, this is the only living room and another thing that I wanted to say before I forget is that I didn't include one of the bathrooms in the speed build, not because I had forgotten to record it, because this time it didn't happen weirdly enough because usually I always forget to record something which didn't happen now, I would like to. I like that I've been a really good, you know, YouTuber in these days and I didn't forget to record anything. So yeah, kudos to me. But anyway, I didn't include that bathroom because, well, I've included the other bathroom, which is far more interesting in my opinion. And this video is already a bit longer than usual. So yeah, I didn't want it to be extremely long. And it's so long because, yeah, as always, I'm a very slow builder, you all know that by now, um, but also, I, well, it took me a lot to landscape this thing, which I haven't done yet, because obviously I'm doing the interior right now, um, but it took me a really long time, so yeah, it was a long process, and of course this video is a bit longer. And you could see, like a couple of seconds ago, me switching to brown with the shelves. Um, brown is not the predominant color in this house, um, but it's fairly like present. And you can see it, for example, right now in this room, it's one of the two bedrooms. I imagined a team to, be, to have this bedroom, which is really simple, and it's actually bigger than the parents' room, but at first it wasn't supposed to be. At first I wanted to give the parents' bedroom um, a loft, well, the parents' room, a loft bedroom, um, but eventually I changed my mind and it's a sort of loft room, but I created a, like an open door, a sort of open situation so that they could have a bit of separation. And also I took the creative liberty of not deciding not to use any curtains in this house. Uh, first of all because, well, the majority of the windows, for example, in this room are completely covered by the ruins, which was a look I intended to go for. Um, I imagine that if you lived in such a house, like surrounded by ancient ruins, you would like to see them. Um, obviously there are some of the windows, you can look outside, also because I placed this lot on, I placed this build on a 30 by 30 lot in Windenburg on the island, so you have an amazing view of the ocean or sea or whatever that is. Um, so yeah, but I took the liberty of not using any curtains. Obviously if it bothers you, you can definitely add them. But I really like how it looks without curtains. And also you are fairly protected by the ruins and also by the fact that this is an island and yeah, it's pretty isolated by itself. So yeah, uh, I didn't think it was an issue not to include curtains, but as you can see right now I'm working on the stairs and I've created a custom railway. I've used some debug objects from the base game, these are some like poles and yeah I always love to use them and they're especially perfect if you want to create like a sort of railing as I did. Um, yeah you could use also the eco lifestyle vertical lines, these ones, um, I always use them, they are so so amazing for modern looks, but they are also super versatile, um, but they are not so nice 
to make like railings because I wanted like the bottom of the stairs to be free because I've included like a sofa and like a reading room there and obviously if I would have used these lines I would have like covered everything so yeah eventually I've decided not to use it but as you can see now we are on the top floor and here there is the master bedroom it's small which is weird but I mean, they have this whole floor to themselves. They also have a sort of ensuite. It's not an ensuite because it's not directly connected to their bedroom, um, but practically the top floor is all for the parents or whoever decided, decides to stay there. So yeah, I didn't think it was an issue. But here, as you can see, we are working on one of the bathrooms. This is the downstairs bathroom. And I've done something a bit different. Um, I've used the Discovery University uh, showers and I made them open, which I rarely do. Usually I just, you know, create my own shower with some windows or with the Moschino divider or with the island living glass floor rotated with tool. But this time I didn't. And so I've done a sort of wet room um, where you can find both the bathtub and also the shower, actually a double shower. So yeah, I thought that was a really cool touch. I had never done it and I really like how it looks. I will consider doing it more often for sure. But now as you can see, we are proceeding to the landscaping and I'm pretty sure I will stop really soon because I had forgotten to furnish yet the balcony. Um, I took the decision not to include any furniture um, like downstairs where the ruins are except from like a bench and a picnic table or something uh, because I wanted to leave these ruins sort of intact. I don't know if it makes sense. Um, so yeah, the only uh, outdoor activities they have are the things that are on the balcony. So there is a barbecue area and some sitting areas and some loungers. And they also have a pond which is swimmable because I've used a pool. I thought it fit really well and yeah. Uh, about the landscaping, I've decided to keep it as slush as possible um, because I wanted these ruins to look as if they've been here for a long time. And yeah, they were sort of untouched apart from the fact that someone has built a house in the middle of them. But yeah, so I've included tons of greenery. I've used also some ivies from Discovery University, as you can see. And yeah, but we're actually at the end of this video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you're going to enjoy this tour. If you did, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You would help me so much. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you all next Monday with another video. Bye!
Thank you.